Hello, this is Beverly from scrapandthread.blogspot.com. Today I was going to show you a dinner planner that I made to keep myself a little bit better organized when it comes to meal planning. I had been keeping track of our dinners on a calendar and decided that that wasn't really working for me and I needed to come up with a better system for myself. I keep track of our dinners for a, a variety of reasons. One is that we're trying to eat better and more nutritiously, so I'm trying to track um, our meals that way. But also, if I plan ahead, I can save myself some time in shopping and also in meal prep because if I uh, plan for one meal, sometimes the leftovers can be used for another one. And it also gives my family a little bit of variety. Whereas uh, if, if I don't write it down, we seem to eat a lot of the same stuff and kind of get in a rut. So this is a very simple planner. It's made out of black chipboard that I purchased at Joann's. And uh, I covered it in linen fabric that I'd sewn on my sewing machine. It's 10 and a quarter by 7 and 3 quarters inches. And then the lettering that I did on there was different fonts that I got off of my embroidery module for my sewing machine. It says what's for dinner planner and that's all in the thread. And then there's some other little messages about five a day for vegetables and things like that. Those little stickers are retired from close to my heart but I'm trying to use up some of my supplies so I went ahead and used them. I did think they were kind of cute. I did bind the book with my cinch but I used the Zutter Bind It All wires. It's a three quarter inch coil and um, and then I covered the inside cover with a piece of uh, paper and then I put in two little pockets that open at the top and they just have a self adhesive strip on them and uh, one has a little note in there for my daughter and uh, the other one has some uh, 3M post-it notes that I can use to make little notes on there but you could stick recipes or coupons or anything that you wanted in there and those are actually um, 4 by 6 size for photographs they're called flip flaps from close to my heart and uh, but they can be used for anything so they come like 15 in a package and I only used a couple of them here in the back of the book I did stick a big plastic envelope that I got from uh, Lillian Vernon and I just bound that right in there also so on this page I have um, a numbered system for different cookbooks and websites that I use and, uh, and then I made a big list and it, it uh, and I've gone across to kind of describe the different things that um, are important to me I have favorite recipes I have a description, obviously the name, and then I used a numbering system so that I could reference that back in the meal planner part so I don't need to write out the whole cookbook name, but also I'm making little marks next to each um, source as I'm using it because then at the end of the year if I haven't used that cookbook my intention is to get rid of it because I'm trying to declutter my house as well. It's hard for me to part with my cookbook, so we'll see how well that works out for me. Uh, on the, the each of those pages, I did cut them a little bit smaller than the cover so that it would fit into the book a little bit better. And then on the back side of that first page is just a blank sheet of the exact same categories, but there's no recipes, or excuse me, no cookbooks written down yet. Um, it gives me some room to add websites or whatever if I need to. And then there are 13 pages that I printed out on cardstock for the actual meal planning and on there I've listed a place for an entree, a vegetable, a side dish uh, where the recipe comes from and then notes and um, then I, for instance on Sunday I have spaghetti and meatballs with a salad for our vegetable and there's no recipe listed because I know how to make that. Monday it's black beans and quinoa with a recipe that's modified from allrecipes.com and the vegetable vegetable was cucumbers and then the whole week is there and then uh, it even though you couldn't see it it's underneath that post-it note for the rest of the week so there's two weeks on each page and then it's double-sided so that each page actually has four weeks if you look at front and back so when it's opened up you can see four weeks at a time uh, and um, that helps to so that I don't repeat a bunch of menus over again 
Both of the documents I used are Excel documents and I've put them on my blog. You're welcome to download them and use them and modify them any way that works for you and your family. Uh, one of them I did get from the Microsoft website and modified it. The other one I created on my own. Anyway, I hope that you find this to be useful and I wish you the best. Take care.